Hi, I'm Jim Sills, co-founder of Clear Demand. We're a software company committed to helping retailers compete more effectively. In our previous video, we talked about the principles of price optimization 2.0. We introduced graphs showing how unit sales varies with price, how profit and revenue varies with price, and we looked at how profit and revenue trade off in the opportunity curve. Today, we build on this knowledge and discuss the strategy for responding to cost changes. Let's begin by looking at the impact of a cost increase on these curves. Suppose that cost increases. The resulting profit looks like this. It becomes positive at a higher price and it reaches a maximum also at a higher price. However, revenue is not impacted. The resulting opportunity curve looks like this. The cost increase has eroded profit. A merchant must decide how to make up for this lost profit. They can either increase the price on this item, increase the price on another item, or go back to the vendor and renegotiate. Let's look at how retail science helps them decide. Current retail science clusters products by three metrics, price sensitivity, revenue, and competitive pressure. Each product in a category is scored on these three metrics. Some products score high across the board, others score low, and some are a mix. If the scores are all high, then these are not candidates for increasing price because the shoppers are sensitive, they're probably KVI items, and competition is strong. If the scores are low, then these are candidates for increasing price because shoppers are insensitive, they're not a KVI item, and competition is weak. Once the clustering is complete, we can display this information on a graph where revenue is the x-axis, price elasticity is the y, and the items that score high, generally, that fall into the higher cluster, are shown here in red. This upper quadrant is where you would not increase price. The greens represent the lower scored cluster, and these are the candidates where you would consider increasing price to recover this lost profit. So how is a merchant to use this information to make the best price changes to recover this lost profit? The graph shown here represents the opportunity curve for the products in the green cluster. These are the products that are candidates for increasing price. The current prices for these products deliver the profit and revenue shown here. The merchant can select the point on the opportunity curve that recovers the lost profit. The prices and products associated with that point are the best for recovering lost profit due to cost increases. Thank you for joining us. Please continue to follow us as we explore innovations that help you compete more effectively. Send questions to my email address below. Please follow us on LinkedIn. 
and visit our website where you can register for webinars, white papers, and news alerts.